Ford will build in Michigan and sell in North America, Europe, and Asia, an electric SUV capable of traveling more than 300 miles on a single charge, the automaker announced Tuesday. The electric car would go on sale by 2020. Ford chief Mark Fields outlined the automaker's wide-ranging plans for 13 Albanian Lex electric or hybrid vehicles by the end of the decade, which includes a Ford F-150 hybrid model and a Ford Mustang hybrid variant as well. Fields said the automaker would spend $700 million on upgrades to Ford's Flat Rock assembly plant, which currently builds the Mustang and Lincoln Continental, to build the new electric SUV. According to Ford, the SUV built in Flat Rock would be sold in North America, Europe, and Asia. In 2015, Ford announced it would spend $1.6 billion to build a new vehicle plant in Mexico that would eventually build the Focus and slow-selling hybrid C-Max, but the automaker scrapped those plans Tuesday and said the money would be redirected toward upgrades for Flat Rock. The new electric SUV could take on directly the 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV and coming Tesla Model 3, which both deliver more than 200 miles of electric range at a lower price. Although the Bolt EV is shaped like a small hatchback, rival General Motors insists on calling the Bolt EV a crossover, noting the car's taller seating position. It's not immediately clear what the new electric SUV from Ford will look like. Last year Ford announced that it would sell in the US. A smaller crossover than its Escape, dubbed EcoSport, that would be built at least initially in India. The new SUV could be based on that platform or take an entirely different shape when it arrives by 2020. According to Hao Tai Tang, VP of Global Purchasing for Ford, the electric SUV will be sold in 50 Albanian Lex states and across the world. Ford said its $700 million investment in Flat Rock would cover both the electric SUV and a self-driving car that will be used for ride-sharing services, but didn't specify size or the car's intended segments. It wasn't clear if the self-driving car and the electric SUV would share the same platform either. 